Hello, it's Richard O'Neill, storyteller and author, back to read you another chapter of Aura Machka, The Time Cap. And we're now on chapter 7. The following day, Aura was given some proper food, but that meant that Mrs Crabtree had to split the food she had for her and her Maggie three ways instead of the usual two. Maggie didn't mind as she liked having the new kitten and was busy teaching him lots of new things. Mrs Crabtree realised that she would only be able to keep Aura for a couple of weeks until she could find a good home for him. But as two weeks turned into three, she and Maggie were becoming more attached to Aura. It was growing so quickly, he was already the same size as Maggie. Having enough food was becoming a huge problem, but they loved Aura more than they loved the food, so they kept sharing with him, even though he was eating more than Mrs Crabtree and Maggie put together. Speaking of cats as we are, the other cats in Great Bottom were getting more and more lazy and instead of going out at night and chasing mice they were just messing around and having fun with each other during the daytime and at night after they'd had their fun they were so tired they were just lying around and dropping off to sleep of course this was great news for the mice and they started to move into great bottom well you probably would too if you were a mouse what a great place to live never having to worry about being chased by a cat any cat Getting back to Mrs. Crabtree, the news about her giant cat soon got around the town and people were desperate to see it. They started to turn up at her door and saying things like, oh, hello, I heard you've got another cat and I, I brought some food for it. Some people were a bit more direct and simply said things like, hey, can we have a look at that massive cat? Mrs. Crabtree, being the nice kind person she was, invited them in. She would put the food they brought into the kitchen and then let them have a look at Aura who continued to get bigger almost daily. Aura didn't mind the people looking at him. In fact, the more it happened, the more he liked it, and before long started to entertain them by sometimes standing upright on his back legs and walking around the house. Once he even gave Maggie a piggyback to loud applause from the visitors. The people kept coming, the food kept coming, and Aura kept eating it, soon becoming the size of a full-grown man. Mrs. Crabtree realised with great relief she would never have to give him away. 